Well, I was diagnosed in October of 2014 with metastatic breast cancer. It uh, metastasized to my liver and to my bones. Uh, my liver was about 80 to 90% covered with cancer. And I did a lot of traditional treatments. But for me, a lot of it had to do with I stayed, I guess, connected to yoga. Um, I taught yoga. Well, I still teach yoga. And uh, I was in the hospital for six weeks. My doctors were, I had two doctors who did yoga with me in the hospital. I had friends who would come in and let me teach. But I stayed active. I really believe that, um, especially if you're taking a lot of medicines, your body needs movement. I um, equate it to, um, you wouldn't put um, just your uh, laundry and soap and water in a washing machine and not turn it on with you. So I consider the agitation of movement uh, as a better way to get the medicines moving. Also, yoga is not really just about the movement. It's about that mind-body-spirit connection, whatever your higher spirit is. If you're atheist, you are your own higher spirit. I'm a Christian. For me, it's Jesus. Whatever it is for you, yoga can help you get to that higher power. And that is what can help you get through that information overload. I can't overstate how just stepping back and breathing and following your own instincts, as a doctor um, told me today, following your own instincts. You are your own best navigator. You're not your own best physician. You're not your own best anything. But you're your own, uh, other than your own best navigator. You, you see if you want to take yourself out of medicine, but you want to do it maybe from an informed place as opposed to, I have so many people who told me that alkaline water will solve, kill cancer. All I do is drink alkaline water. Mm. I do drink alkaline water now, but not just that. Mm. <laughs>